If you're interested in strengthening your bones and you have um, osteopenia or osteoporosis, there is a very important mineral that you need to be aware of. In fact, it's the missing mineral for bone strength, especially for hardening the outer part of the bone. And that's called strontium. Okay, strontium is a trace mineral. It's a mineral that's needed in very, very small amounts. Now, we all know that calcium is important in strengthening bone, and you need calcium in a certain amount. And strontium is very similar in its chemistry to calcium, but it's not needed in very large amounts, but you need it in certain amounts. And so the ratio of strontium to calcium is one to a thousand. So we need a lot more calcium, but we do need strontium. And if you're deficient in this mineral, then the bones aren't gonna be as strong. There's two very interesting studies. The first one was started in 2000. Uh, I went to 2004, it was a total of three years. It was a randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled study. And they found a decrease in risk of bone fracture by 41%, pretty significant. Another study in 2008 showed a decrease in bone fracture by 36%, pretty significant. So if you have a bone situation and you want to really make sure your bones uh, become normal again, definitely add this trace mineral to your protocol. In fact, I would add this trace mineral. I would add calcium in the form of aspartate and hydrous. I would also add vitamin D as well as vitamin K2, as well as magnesium. I'm going to put a link down below for more details on that, but that's what I would recommend for building bone in a blend of all of the trace minerals, because a lot of these other minerals are involved as well. Now, the interesting thing about this trace mineral uh, strontium is that it's also involved in a very specific type of phytoplankton called acantherian. Okay. Now this microorganism which is not really plant or animal or fungi. It, it's this other thing, which I don't want to get into, but it's a living organism and it's a microplankton, which is a very, very small of plankton. Normally plankton um, lives in the sea and whales and other fish consume it and it fossilizes and it ends up in the bottom of the ocean. And it's normally high in silica. However, this specific phytoplankton it's not made with the normal silica that other phytoplankton use. It's created with strontium. So it's very, very unique. And the architecture of this microorganism is fascinating. It's these brilliant designs that are multicolor with blue and gold. I think it would give someone a great idea of making some amazing jewelry. But these little creatures have these little protruded uh, spikes they give off this little food to entrap their prey so they can also live. Now, one last point about stronium in this uh, plankton is that it doesn't fossilize. So it gets dissolved once that organism dies. So then strontium can then recycle and circulate through the seawater. And so one good source of strontium is a high quality sea salt, which I'm gonna recommend if you're also interested in preserving your bones and making sure you have a lot of the minerals that the bones need. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before